president of Singapore. We will not allow China to isolate Taiwan. They have kept Taiwan from participating in the World Health Organization, other things where Taiwan can make a very valued contribution. And they may keep them from going there, but they're not keeping us from going to Taiwan. We will not allow them to. to. So we think the, their reaction, that was our purpose, to salute this thriving democracy. Don't take it from me. Freedom House said one of the freest uh, democracies in the world. Show our respect for that. Uh, for the success of their economy, uh, for the uh, uh, enthusiasm of their young people to embrace a democracy. A comment that the president made before our trip. But all I can say is that we are very proud of our military. Uh, they, their uh, preparation and their, uh, I actually, I think, minimize the impact of, of the Chinese uh, on our trip. So they, they took very good care of us. I don't remember them ever telling us not to go to the military. No. China had their plans before we took our trip. And what they want to do is to try to deter us from going to visit our friend and ally. And I think what this trip did, which they did not expect, is show that no matter what President Xi says, we are going to stand by our friends and allies. So I think that China now has to take a different viewpoint on it because we are unequivocal on what our positions will be with reference to our friends and our allies. Thinking about, as our chairman, distinguished chairman and others have mentioned, the struggle between democracy and autocracy. Autocracy has, is a, not a, a peaceful place. So again, whether it's the South China Sea, the Straits of Taiwan, the, uh, the um, uh, whatever's happening in Tibet, in the Uyghur regions, uh, Hong Kong and the rest, uh, we didn't go there to talk about China. We went there to praise Taiwan. And we went there to show our friendship, to say China cannot isolate Taiwan. So that's what it was about.